Shalom. Good morning, believers. JD Nijah, I'm back talking about the beast system and um, the difference between the image of the beast and the image of the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, God, and Jesus Christ. In the Paleo Hebrew, in the um, Rakahak Wadash is the Holy Spirit that allows these spiritual beings that are here to break down the story. We are the story. We know the story because we are the story. Never gonna leave your side. All right, so um, I was going into um, what the beast is. The beast is... <clears throat> The fleshly human, the the animalistic side, and we see that um, the Lord is making these animals get aggressive. They're they're turning back to their nature. Um, they can only play spiritual for so long, and they can only pretend that they were. Um, of the most high because they're not they can only pretend it the, the, these are the wolves in sheep's clothing these are the ones that are probably dressing up and standing on the corner saying we are the men of God I'm starting to wonder about that anyway um, so I went into some scriptures about the beast the beast and um, I was going to go into the one about Nebuchadnezzar but everyone knows the story I think if you have any biblical, if you're here, you should be able to um, recall the, the story of Nebuchadnezzar and Daniel. I think I wrote it down, actually. I don't know. Basically, what happens to Nebuchadnezzar, and it makes you wonder if um, Nebuchadnezzar was an... Makes you wonder if he's an Israelite because the Lord turned him into a beast... It was a vision Daniel saw, and and Daniel told him, "You're gonna you're gonna be out in the field like a beast." And and uh, man, I should get that. It, the um the imagery is. <laughs> I probably I probably struggled to find it, even though I um looked it up. I didn't. I never wrote it down. I don't think. Um. <laughs> Daniel, oh, I got it. <laughs> I marked it. The king's prideful boast. Um, it says, uh, the king spoke and said, is not this great Babylon that I have built for the house of the kingdom by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty? So maybe he wasn't, maybe he was a Babylonian king. He was a, he was one of these arrogant, impetuous, fleshy creatures, these beasts, right? But he's in the, he's in the body of a man. And so, so he, he thinks we're all the same and he doesn't realize that Daniel is a totally different type than him. So, but he does call on Daniel to interpret the dream. And while the word was in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven saying, O King Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken, the kingdom is departed from thee. So he took the kingdom from him, and they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field. So, um, what makes me think that he might have been a, a spiritual man is he's saying, I'm going to make you into one of these beasts so you can so you can understand the difference between a spiritual man and a and a beast. And they shall make thee to eat grass as oxen and seven times shall pass over thee. That means seven years until you know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of man and giveth it to whomever he will. And that same hour was the thing fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar and he was driven from man and did eat grass as oxen. And his body was wet with dew of heaven till his hairs were grown like eagle's feathers and his nails like bird's claws. So he turned into this 
strange beast in the field and I'm uh, there's a lot there's a lot more there but I just wanted to get that imagery of um of what it's like to be a beast you have you have claws feathers you know uh, a, a turkey or birds are always kind of even eagles are they have a they have a an animalistic movement about them <laughs> kind of like JD Dungeon though <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go a little bit more into um, the beast real quick I wanted to see what James had to say about it and then we'll go to um, Revelation talk about this mark of the beast James 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 you're at the back of the book we know that right James, 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 you're you're somewhere back here by Jude, James, John, John, James, Jude, you son of a gun, where are you, James, Peter, before Peter, James, um, three and seven. says it reads so the tongue the tongue the the difference between what a spiritual man speaks and what a um, a beast will speak because in the end times the beast that right now the beast is speaking to us the beast is telling us we will destroy you we will control you you're one of ours we're the big monkey on the Street, we're the um, we're the alpha lion. We're fuck you. You're nothing. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll start in two. For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man, and able to bridle the whole body. Behold, we put bits in the horse's mouth, the beasts. We put bits in the beasts that they may obey us and we turn about their whole body. So the difference between the reins of a man and the reins of a beast is um, who's controlling you? Who's guiding you? Are you are you being the reins in my mouth? I'm being driven by the most high, the Holy Spirit. But if you're a beast, you'll be you'll be driven by another man. Get it? That's what he's talking about. Behold also ships which though they be so great, I like this. This is um, this is a good example of um, whether you're being led by the Holy Spirit or you're being led by men. Um, also, the ships, verse four of James three. If you want to get your Bibles out, I'm in James. I'm going to be going to Revelation. If you want to go to Revelation, um, thirteen twelve, because this will be done in a minute here. Um, great ships. Though they be so great and are driven by fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small helm, whithersoever the governor listeth. So, the, um, what do you call it? The keel. The keel turns the ship. So, it, it, it's a great ship, but it only has a little keel. In whatever way it's turning, it's going to make the ship turn, right? And so... That's what he's talking. That's what the Lord is. He's, he's, he's got the um, steering wheel. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. So they told us, oh, there's a killer V out there, and everyone, everyone freaked out. The whole world freaked out, and they said, oh, we're gonna give you this other V, so that you don't get sick from the other V interesting how um, V for victory there's V's all over over that if you get what I'm saying and the tongue is a fire a world of iniquity so is the tongue among our members that it defiles the whole body and setteth on fire the course of nature and it is set on fire of hell so these these Beasts that are speaking these evil things, we're gonna 
we're taking over this country. We're we're coming with our tanks. We're speaking with our with our violence, and you cannot resist. And you will not do anything to us, or we will come back at you with great wrath. And you'll blah, blah, blah. you know it's it's all this talk for every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of things of the sea is tamed and hath has been tamed by mankind, but the tongue no man can tame. Can can tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. All right. <laughs> so James, when James talks about the beasts, he's talking about the difference between: Are you speaking spiritual things, or are you speaking carnal things? And that's that's where J GMS has got their head so far stuck up their ass, believing that Joseph, the seed of Joseph, the seed of a man gave birth to Yahushai. That is, that's the difference between someone who's speaking carnal things and someone who's speaking spiritual things. You, if, you, if you don't believe the Lord was, was born of a, of a angelic spirit, then you're probably one of those damn beasts, you f I need to, I, I wish I had an audience. I wish these guys would listen because um, a lot of people are getting led astray by this, by these guys. And it, it's funny, I mean, you can listen to a lot of their messages and they're on point. But there's a few things that they believe that are going to get you destroyed. One is that we're on a spinning wet ball rocket. <laughs> the, the path into the kingdom is narrow and few find it. So when we, when, when they've, they've convinced us we're on a spinning wet ball rocket, all those people that believe that are going to get whooped their ass by the Lord. You believe that Yahushua wasn't born of the Holy Spirit? You're going to get, he's going to come back and fuck you up. He's like, what? You think I'm like you? <laughs> That's my rant for the day. Where was I? Uh, oh boy. I pretty much know where I'm going. 13, 12. I don't, I don't really need my um, my crib notes. Slack it. Um, didn't mean to uh, <laughs> go into jo full Joker mode. Thirteen two, the beasts, the beasts of the sea. And I stood upon the sand of the sea. This is John in Patmos, uh, John the Revelator, John. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea. The sea is the sea of people. And the these sea of people is the sea of ignorant, arrogant, of their kind, of that kind. Having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his ten horns ten crowns, and upon his head the name of blasphemy. That's... That's this fleshly horn. That's this beast of um, this earth, this this 3D junkyard. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. So... The dragon is basically, a lot of people say a lot of different things, but to me the dragon is the spirit of Satan, is on Putin, he's on Biden, he, he's going to make these, these animals start fighting each other and we got to stay out of it. So then it goes to verse 20, I'm not going to go all into that because that's not the, the the message. Um, where was it? 20. The capture of the beast. Um, he, 
here you go. And I saw an angel. This is um, Revelation 19, 17. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying, To all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great Yahweh power, that you may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and of them that sit on them and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. So what he's saying is men, he's talking about these same beastly men, these these arrogant, um, ignorant, non-spiritual beasts. That's why he puts them in the same um, paragraph as horses. It's the flesh of kings, the flesh of captains. The kings, Putin, Biden, Kalensky, Valensky, whatever the fuck his name is over there in Ukraine, those Nazis, um, Merkel, um, Johnson, whoever rises to the top here in this fleshly kingdom, those are these flesh of mighty men, the flesh of the horses and of them that sit on them, and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great, all men, not spiritual men, but... Um, Probably the bodies of spiritual men too when they died. The, the body is going to be here, but the spirit's going to be gone. But what he's talking about here is the um, these beasts, these animal people. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. So the one that comes and sits on the horse, horse is Yahushai. And... Um, He's coming to, like I said, put this beast back in his cage. He needs to be corralled. He needs to be put in the pit. He needs to be taken away from, from spiritual people. It's it, it. Two cannot walk together that unless they be, of the same accord. And um, there's not very many that are of the same accord here. It's like we're all spread out and scattered. It's. It's creepy. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. So this this whew, this jump shot, this um, jab -dab -dab is the beginning of the MOTB, the mark of the beast. It's a um, precursor to get people to fall into that mindset of the flesh is so important. It's so important to stay here in my flesh. I love my fleshy body. I love this world. I love this. This 3D junkyard is awesome. That's, that's what it's talking about. And the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles. The miracles are going to be, they're going to put that damn... Neuralink in people's heads and they're going to make them see they're going to make people walk they're going to use their science to convince people that they can live forever just take that just put that um, piece of rice in your hand or in your head and you'll be you'll be like a um, a god right good luck with all that um, receive the mark of the beast and them that worshipped his image so that's where the image comes in again what image were you made in were you made in the image of the most high were you made in a spiritual image let's make man in our image so man might not have looked the same I don't know about that. Uh, scratch that. I don't know how man looked before the Lord put spirit in man. Maybe maybe this is just how we looked. And when he put the spirit in some men, it was that was part of the game. That's part of the game is to make us look the same 
but we we ain't the same. We ain't the same, that's for sure. Um, and then that worshipped his image. Both these were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. Let's see what it says about the remnant. That That's creepy. Uh, 21. Oh, boy. Remnant, 21. And the rest. So I, I think I went into that before. That's a different... That's a different remnant than the, the spiritual remnant. He's saying the rest of the, the beast, the rest of these people that took the flat, the mark, and the remnant were slayed with the sword of him that sat upon the horse. So there's that. Let's see. The, uh, and then over here it talks about the beast again. It's, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a boring subject when you get right into it because as a spiritual man, I don't like talking about these beasts. That's why Psalm 73 is my psalm because it says, I, f I felt like one of them when I started talking about them. It made me sick to my stomach. Um, and they cast him into the bottomless pit that he should deceive the nations no more. So this Esau Edom, this demon that's talking all this crap, shit talker, it's not going to be, a, it's, when the Lord comes back, there's not going to be that bullshit. And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of Yahweh Power. So, I'll probably end up putting my head in that guillotine. I've, I've been saying this for five years now. I used to tell my customers, when they get you in that, that quarantine camp, and they have those shiny ass guillotines over there, and they ask you, "Do you want the the mark or the guillotine?" Guillotine. I've been saying this for five years. It's coming. Obama has them all. He ordered those things a few years ago. There's a whole bunch of them in storage here at these um, army bases. Um, beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of God in which had not worshipped the beast neither his image neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai Hamashiach a thousand years so that's that don't need to don't need to go on and on about this these fucking arrogant ignorant beasts they're gonna do what they're gonna do they're gonna it's time to get into your spiritual self people I know I know there's hardly anyone out there I I'm just I'm just getting the blood off my hands I I can't I can't make you listen I can't um, entice you there's no way for me to entice you it's not what I do. I'm not a salesman. I'm a laborer. I'm laboring. I'm here putting in the work as best I can to get you to understand the difference between the image of the beast and the image of our maker, our creator, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Jai. Ha, ha, ha. We'll go out with a little. When the right time comes, you will be feeling inspiration. When the right time comes, you're going to want to put your head in that guillotine. Give up this, give, give this 3D junkyard up. I'm telling you, it ain't going to profit you here. It's over. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here.
Get motivated to the spirit. Love you, Israel. I love you, believers. Till tomorrow, I pray you have a wonderful spiritual day. And um, that you get into your Bible and figure it, figure this stuff out. Or just listen to me. I've, I've pretty much got it figured out. You just got to listen. <laughs> just saying. Till tomorrow, Shalom, Israel.